Hi, I'm Christine, and this is my sidekick, Chase the Dog. We travel the U.S. living out of my SUV, searching for adventure, food, and fun. If you'd like to be our travel buddy, then like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. In this video, we explore the Orange Beach, Alabama area by visiting a cool park with a train museum, hanging with dinosaurs at a Stonehenge replica, eating fresh steamed Cajun shrimp at a stunning beach, having strawberry banana pancakes at the park, and enjoying some unique foods at the seafood festival and car show. Good morning from some random parking lot in Alabama. We spent the night in Foley, Alabama, which is just outside of Orange Beach, Alabama, which is our destination for the next two days. It's been consistently hot lately, so instead of making my normal hot coffee, I tried cold brew and it has been a game changer. Not only is it so simple, it does not take any power from the Jackery. I can even make my coffee from my bed, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Chasing Michael. Chase sleeps by my feet when it's hot. Our preferred way of sleeping together is just, well, my preferred way <laughs> is with him right here so I can just snuggle him like a teddy bear. But our body heat when we're that close really gets cooking. When it's warm, both him and I prefer that he has his own space down there. And also we've got this fan right here that just kind of blows on him and circulates all around the car. So we're pretty comfortable this way. So good and so easy. I should have been making cold brew a long time ago. I'm going to slowly wake up and let the caffeine do its thing and just enjoy my view of this giant camper bus and the sounds of its generator. First stop of the day is Planet Fitness to shower. Let's have some fun. And for those of you worried about Chase being in the car, I get up really early and I plan my morning so that I'm done with all my stuff and back to him before the heat of the day kicks in. Technically, before we can start having fun, we do need to find a local park so we can get our morning chores and breakfast out of the way. Grapefruit for breakfast. Do you want to explore this park? So our next stop is in the woods just north of Orange Beach. A billionaire owns the property and commissioned an artist to create several sculptures, which include four dinosaurs and a life-size replica of Stonehenge, which this is free to the public and sounds way too interesting to pass up. It's a pterodactyl, but I think it's a hawk. Getting Jurassic Park vibes.
This thing is awesome. It's referred to as Bama Henge, and it is an exact replica of the prehistoric Stonehenge monument from England. It is made totally out of fiberglass, and all the details are the same, right down to the position to the sun. Such a mystery how they built this, huh, Chase? Uh, no. You Googled it earlier. It was created by a artist from Virginia named Mark Klein. Oh yeah, you're right. We made it to Orange Beach. Our first stop is Blalock Seafood for some dinner. If it's hot out, I lock the car and use my remote start. And that way the air runs while I'm inside so Chase is comfortable. Are these locally caught? They're golf caught. It would be $14 if I got a pound and you could steam them in the Cajun seasoning. Okay, let's do that. Hot and, Cajun. Hot and Cajun, please. We are at Alabama Point, which is one of the public beaches here in Orange Beach. It looked really awesome from atop the bridge we just crossed, that big one right there. So I've got my shrimp loaded up, the puppies loaded up, and we're gonna walk the boardwalk and eat our shrimp in the sand. I'm looking at the ocean. So I got to the beach with Chase and there are a bunch of signs that say no pets. So got to follow the rules. I am going to leave them in the car with the air and just not spend as much time as I planned on here. Just quickly check it out, do the boardwalk real quick, eat my shrimp and get back to the puppy. Wow, this is beautiful. You have like a 360 view. Wow, this is gorgeous already. I love it here. I could spend all day here. This is such a unique beach because the landscape is different. It comes out to a point, so you've got water on your left and your right, and of course, straight ahead of you. And oh my word, look at the pink behind the clouds. Then you also have the view of the city behind you and this awesome bridge. So it's not your typical, you just walk to the beach and you see the ocean in front of you. There's a lot more to look at here and appreciate. There's rock formations here. I highly recommend Alabama Point if you are coming to Orange Beach. I've only been here a couple minutes and this is already one of my favorite beaches I've ever been to. There's like a misty fog over the water so the city is like shrouded in this cool cloud. Look at that perfection. That is so good. That Cajun seasoning adds the perfect flavor and they are still warm and they are so delicious. I feel so blessed to be having this experience of eating gulf shrimp on the ocean basically by myself and it is so freaking beautiful here. This is definitely one of those times that when it gets hard on the road and I'm tired of going to gas station bathrooms and Chase's morning breath is in my face and all the little annoying things of travel experiences like this totally wipe out all those little annoyances. Little moments like this, a 10 minute <laughs> dinner on this beach with this scenery makes everything worth it. Anyway, I gotta finish these shrimp before the sun goes down and get back to Chase. So I decided to drive back to Foley for the night. I avoid staying in touristy beach towns because those are the cities that really crack down on car camping. So I'd rather just drive a little bit extra and know I'll have a peaceful night. So I'm just doing my nighttime stuff and I'm probably gonna go to bed early. I'm really excited for the seafood festival tomorrow. So I wanna get a good night's sleep and enjoy the day. See you in the morning. Good morning. It's 5.30 and I'm craving pancakes. <laughs> The only place open soon is Walmart, so I'm gonna drink my coffee and wake up and go to Walmart for some pancake supplies. I don't 
typically do all my morning stuff in the Walmart bathroom because there's typically other people, but there's no one in here today, so I have the place to myself. There's an art to changing in the front seat without giving anybody a show. I've got it figured out almost. <sighs> Ta-da! So we drove back to the beach. I think this is technically Gulf Shores, which is the city right next to Orange Beach. We found a beautiful park with free parking, a dog park, recycling and a lake with picnic tables which are all things we love so let's get cooking the pancakes this is our view for breakfast i haven't used frozen fruit for our pancakes yet on the road which has already started to thaw and has some of the juices in there so i'm thinking i'm just gonna dump this in the bowl and then kind of eyeball how much pancake mix i need this could go really good or really bad <laughs> looks good to me made maple syrup from back home. Thank you, mom and dad. The experiment turned out good. I think the juice from the frozen fruit made it more flavorful. It's really good. Last bite, Chase. You want it? No? Okay, then it's mine. I've never seen these little black ducks before. They're totally black with a white bill. Well, I guess this guy has a little bit of a white neck, but they dive under the water and come back up. Come back up, little buddy. They're so cute. Goodbye, beautiful breakfast spot. It's time to go to the seafood festival. Smelly bits. That's what we have in the car after not showering for three days. <laughs> it's a hot one. Got your little shade fortress. for the seafood but the smells coming from this place selling something called bacon steak is too irresistible that's my first stop could i have the bourbon barbecue bacon on a stick bacon steak on a stick <laughs> this one. Oh, bless you that looks awesome it is so hot today it's a sunny in 76 it is cooking so i just found some shade in this parking garage and i'm gonna enjoy my 
bacon steak on a stick, which is just this giant piece of bacon. It's the thickest bacon I've ever seen. It is well over a centimeter thick. It smells amazing. It looks like it's char grilled to perfection and it's smeared in bourbon barbecue sauce. How could this be anything but awesome? Mmm. Oh my word. I've been craving something cooked on the grill and this is hitting the spot. It's just warm enough that the fat melts in your mouth and the texture is so satisfying. This would have went great with the pancakes this morning. I have to eat this downwind of Chase or he'll freak out if he smells it. All right, fine, you can have the last bite. Getting that bacon was definitely the right call. We're on our way to see a crawfish eating contest and it would be torture to watch all those people eat that delicious food and be so hungry myself. Inspecting the tails, make sure that, that all the meat from the tails have been properly eaten. Three, two, one, go! Let's go, baby! Three, two, one. If you did not eat one entire tray, you are excused from the table. I want to present to you a beautiful trophy from Tiffany's of New York. A little speech, Sam. I want to thank all my fans. Thank you, Mr. Harvey. I'm in an orange beach state of mind. The most unique item I could find today at the festival were the frog legs. I did not know they were still going to be attached like this. I'm really going to have to not think about what I'm actually eating here. They smell really good though. These were the most unique thing I could find today and that's what I'm after is unique experiences. They do look really good. Mmm, that is delicious. It tastes like a combination between fried chicken and fried fish. I was concerned it was going to taste fishy, but it's not. It's very light, it's very delicious. The breading is super crispy and crunchy. There's the perfect amount of saltiness that adds to that breading. Those were delicious. I'm so glad that I picked those. Initially, I was worried because frog leg sounds a little scary, but once again, I'm glad I went outside of my comfort zone because I found a new food that I really, really like. And on that note, I think this is a good spot to end the video. We've had a really nice time in the Orange Beach area. Thank you for coming along with us. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel, and we'll see you next time. I'm in an orange beach state of mind.